Hi, welcome back to another Princess Connect video. My name is Lace and today we're going to be talking about the new upcoming events, which has just been announced by Crunchyroll. Whole bunch of awesome stuff, including daily free 10 draws, which I have been like clenching my hole for. Crunchyroll gave us like 100 free tickets and I was like, well, are they still going to give us those 10 free pulls on like Misato banner? Like, please, please. And it turns out they did. So I am very, very happy and very grateful. Without further ado, let me jump into it and tell you my thoughts about all of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just skip all of this and actually just come down to here, which is the summary. I want to link this post down in the description below. You guys can check it out yourself. But essentially, this is a very good summary as to what is about to happen. So first, what we've got is a Misato focused gacha banner. So we've got Misato coming into the game. This is Misato. Misato is a great unit. We'll talk about her a little bit more in an upcoming video. But at this point in time, just know that she is going to run for 17 days from 11th of April till 28th of April. However, she is a two star and I think you guys already know where this is going. So Misato's banner has the rate up for Misato herself, Hatsune and Aoi. Hatsune is probably what a lot of people are going to be eyeing because of the event. The very first event with the Hatsune and Shiori, you're going to have a whole bunch of shards saved up and you're going to be looking at this banner right here because if we jump down to like the bottom one it's going to be a daily free 10 draw campaign what we've got is 10 days of 10 draws so what that means is that we get a total of a hundred draws hopefully in those hundred draws you can pull Hatsune and use those shards that you've been saving from that previous event for a lot of people it's going to be an instant four star for a couple of people it's going to be an instant five star Misato Hatsune and are we available for redemption that just means that they will be available for the 300 spark all right so that's Misato out of the way next we've got the April content drop and this is a a little bit scary to be honest and why this is scary is because it's dropping one day before the april clan battle what we've got is a whole bunch of stuff going on so we're talking like level cap increase from 88 to 93 main area unlock and we've got the character equipment cap going from 85 to 93 chapter 6 blah 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 you guys can read all that oh new furniture all right that's pretty lit okay however what i really want to talk about is the implications of this the biggest things that really affect you if you really care that much is the level cap increase and the character equipment cap increase the reason why this is kind of annoying is because it kind of like makes the battlefield a little bit uneven on clan battle a lot of the whales can hit like 93 in one day because they're just going to like spam refresh like 40 times over like two or three days and they'll probably hit 93 like refreshing a whole bunch of stamina they're going to be hitting that 93 easily and even if they don't go 93 they can still go 86 for like all of their characters if from a competitive point of view it probably won't matter too much unless you're in like top 10 top 25 and potentially top 50 honestly my clan is still figuring out what to do because like it's a big big ask even if we refresh like six nine maybe even 14 times it's actually really really hard to get these like equipment up it's going to take a very very long time to go from 85 to 93 what we do have to alleviate that though is the main normal quest double drop which is really good that's actually kind of godsend so for about eight to nine days we'll have n2 which is normal quest drop times two that's good because this one actually lines up with the content dropping so it's actually giving us a head start kind of thing previously what crunchyroll has done is that they've actually like released a whole bunch of new equipment and new worlds and stuff only after a few weeks do they then have the normal quest two times drop from a business standpoint this makes sense you know like let all the hardcore people farm it out first and then the more like casual the more like the more easygoing players let them have like more of a boost at the end however this is going to be nice because it's going to benefit actually everybody last on the agenda is the hard quest double drop so we've got that for another five days honestly i think these are way too short i love the hard quest double drops it is what it is the good thing about this is that it doesn't overlap with the other things which is ugh. Thank God, because there's going to be a lot of stamina spending. Now, I guess I want to talk more about these guys. I'm not like too ecstatic about this, to be honest. Releasing a content cap increase like level cap and character equipment cap and all of that, like in conjunction with like clan battle. And I think it's the right move because like I said before, the people who are able to pay a lot, you know, it, they will be like very far ahead, to be honest. I am not trashing Crunchyroll. Don't burn them yet. Like, I'm not saying anything like that. I guess I'm just trying to express that there is probably some thinking that needs to happen here. Most of these moves that Crunchyroll has done recently have been catered more towards like a casual audience, especially with the slowed down pace, like the Misato banners lasting for like 17 days. Honestly, it makes me want to go really, really casual as well. And I'm kind of okay with that. However, this move here coinciding these two, like that kind of goes against that philosophy. It just means that the people who are going to rush, the people, I guess, who are willing to like spend even like, I guess, even the free to play players who are willing to dump all of their gems into this just to get those extra like little bits of equipment just to 
to up their DPS a little bit for those gemmies. I, I mean, I guess you got to respect that, right? So today is the 6th of April. So all of this is happening about like five, six, seven days, about a week from now. It doesn't give us too much time to prepare. It feels like they kind of just like, oh, look, it's the piggies. Yeah, I don't really know about this. I wish that the clan battle was like before the content drop because most people now are like at like 8.5, 8.4 or whatever. They're pretty much done with their equipment. I think when everyone's equipment is kind of equalized, that's probably the best time to actually be competitive. Yeah, I don't know. That's my take on it, I suppose. Like, I'm not going to trash on them too much. Like, you guys let me know what you think. So another thing that you probably want to know is what is actually going to come with the Area 11. So here I've got my JP account and Area 11, we pretty much entered the desert. I think it was going from like an ocean beachy theme and we're going into the desert. So in the desert, what's going to happen is you're going to clear the whole bunch of stages, 17 stages. So that's more first clear jemmies. And as you can see here, there's actually a tower at the end. And what is this? La -da -da. That is a disconnect sign, actually. <laughs> All right, guys. So let me try click it again. And this is what you're supposed to see. Uh, I actually don't know what that meant. Essentially, what we are getting in chapter 11 is actually the dungeon as well. A new EX dungeon. So as you guys can see here, this is the extreme dungeon, which is going to be unlocked in chapter 11. So if I just click into it, I know I've got EX2, but it doesn't matter. This is for content. This is for content, my dudes. All right, here we go, guys. And this is actually where it starts getting a little bit less tedious because it's going to be only five floors in which we will fight the Manticore boss at the very end. If I remember correctly, we might actually need like three fully built teams to actually beat this Manticore boss. I do remember there being a cheese strat with like two healers where you can actually heal through it. But I think the TL DR for this dungeon is that there's going to actually be like a mechanic at the very end. Like I'm pretty sure the people at Psy Games like to, were like to the JP people, hey, you guys can't just cheese our dungeon like that. I don't know if you guys saw like the Sheer Cliff dungeon cheese, but like that's the one where I run like two tanks and three healers. And essentially I just make sure to sustain through all of it and then just keep running it again and again. What actually happens with the Manticore and from here on out is that they actually do a one hit KO move at the very end. I think it's a slow burn and you can actually use healers to cheese it, but at this point, like this is what it looks like, guys. I will come out with a guide on how to clear this very soon. The amount of dungeon coins we get do go up. So I will just run through this real quick and I will let you know exactly how much we get without the dungeon pack. All right, just finished the run and here we go. Let's see how much we get. We get 400. So this is actually up 100 per stage from the last one. If you guys remember our current dungeon, the Sheer Cliff Ruins, it gives us 300 dungeon coins without the monthly pack and 600 with it. So as always, if you can get up to the floor before the boss, you should definitely clear the EX one instead of the Sheer Cliff. Rewards are generally the same, but like you see one, two, can, come on, let me move. Three, four. Four times 400 is 1,600. If you think about the Sheer Cliff one, you only get coins from five of the chests. So that means that it is five times 300 per chest. You get a total of 1,500. If you can finish the EX four times up to stage four at 400 each, you're gonna be getting 100 more coins. If you can finish the Manticore as well, well, you're gonna be rolling in those coins, my dudes. All right, so that's the dungeon. But the last thing I wanted to show you guys is the hard mode actually. So we have, this is not the right one. This is map 17. So I just got to run all the way back down to the desert here. It's oh, it's nighttime. And you can see here, we've got the Lima, Eriko, and Shizuru. This is actually three really great nodes. Lima is a great PvP character. I wish I could have her at five stars. You can never have enough tanks. Same kind of can be said about Shizuru. You know, she's like 145 those shards. I still don't have her. I'm going to summon her. If she's got two nodes, I'm going to be going twice as fast. You know what I'm saying? But the big one is Eriko because Eriko, oh man, I just really like Eriko. I really think she does so much damage. With this Eriko 5 star, especially when UE hits in a couple of months, I reckon this is this is a great map. All right, guys, I think that's the end of the video. I'm sorry that I haven't been making videos, guys. Life has thrown a couple of curveballs at me, and I'm just trying to work through things right now. I'm not going to bore you guys with my life story, so I'm just going to end the video right here. Secret message? Nah. Let's go with the secret question tonight. Which part of the update is the most exciting for you? For me, it's 100% the 10-draw campaign per day. As much as I love the double drop from the hard quest, like free 10 draws, it's DA, it's potential for Hatsune, it's potential to fill out my roster, like bruh, it's all good. It's only good things from this, right? I'm very glad that Crunchyroll decided to still give us this event. It does suck a little bit because the banner is going to last like 17 days, which is a very long time for a two-star unit. But you know what? It is what it is. All right, let me know what you guys think. I think it's going to be an overwhelming majority of the free 10 draw campaign. With that being said, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and you guys know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment, and as always, thank you guys so much for watching and for your patience and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye bye